and well, now we have a representative from University of Canberra. University of Canberra is such a prestigious university located in Australian capital city. So, uh, Prasant, sir, uh, we are uh, over him, uh, and uh, it's our great honor to welcome you in this six o'clock session. Thank you, Mr. Rajinder. It's always a pleasure being a part of uh, the KIC, uh, you know, TikTok platform. You are one of our esteemed partners, and it's good to be uh, doing a session with KIC and with you. How, how do you, how do you finding uh, the face-to-face uh, -face career counselling system now? Is going it's, well? Yeah, it's it's been really good. Uh, the quality of the students has been good, and they are uh, looking up for the July 2022 or the Feb 2023 intakes. So it's really wow, good. amazing. Yes. So uh, today, uh, yeah, I already have informed my audience that today I'm going to bring University of Canberra. It's a great honor to have University of Canberra uh, on this uh, virtual platform. And also, we would like to know more about, uh, uh, about your university. So can you please explain us about the University of Canberra? Sure. Uh, university of Canberra is uh, obviously based out of Canberra, which is the capital of Australia. And as a city, Canberra, you know, uh, has had the highest average full-time earnings in Australia. The accommodation uh, at the University of Canberra is quite affordable. And, uh, you know, we are also a regional city. Students uh, who do study at the University of Canberra have access to a lot of campus facilities, you know, like the UC Thrive and the UC Elite uh, programs. As a university, we are ranked in top 10 in Australia and top 1% uh, across the globe. We're also ranked number one in the world for reducing inequalities uh, in 2021 and number wow. fifth in the world for quality education. Our uh, undergraduate employment rates and uh, you know postgraduate employment rates for students are actually uh, the best in Australia. For undergraduate students, it is almost 94.1%, which is the best as per the 2021 Quill survey. And for postgraduate students, the graduate employment rate is almost 95%, which is the second best in Australia. Now, amazing. So uh, as you have mentioned uh, uh, several things uh, to choose uh, University of Canberra and the location, as you said, like highest employability rate and also people, students are earning uh, highest compared to other states and other cities. So can you please share us? I know the uh, Canberra has got most popular uh, courses uh, range, uh, faculty range for international students, including um, uh, Nepalese students. So can you please explain us more about the, the areas of studies that a student uh, can study over there? Sure. We have a lot of faculties like, uh, you know, where we offer programs like the Faculty of Arts and Design. Students can pursue Bachelor of Arts in Global Heritage, Digital Media, and, uh, you know, Building and Construction Management, Bachelor of Design in Interaction Design, if you talk about the master's program, then we've got the master of communication, uh, which is uh, the best program. In fact, University of Canberra's master of communication graduates are ranked number one in Australia for graduate employability. We've got master of architecture. Then uh, in the faculty of business, government and law, we've got bachelor of business in marketing, bachelor of laws, bachelor of event and tourism management, politics and international relations. At the master's level, we've got an MBA plus program which is a freshers MBA. Then we have Master of Marketing Management, International Business, Human Resource Management. If we talk about uh, the education uh, faculty, we've got Master of Early Childhood and Primary Education. We've got Master of Primary Teaching, Secondary Teaching. Uh, then coming over to the Faculty of Health, we've got uh, Bachelors of Nursing. We've got Bachelor of Physiotherapy, Bachelor of Pharmacy, Bachelor of Nutrition and Dietetics. At the master's level, we've got master of physiotherapy, master of pharmacy, master of occupation therapy. And the best part about the health uh, faculty is that we have uh, a hospital on campus. So the students can definitely take an advantage of that. Uh, coming over to IT, we offer all the specializations at the undergrad and the postgrad level, right from artificial intelligence to business intelligence to cybersecurity, cloud computing and in uh, internet of things, uh, social informatics, project management. So uh, the University of Canberra has a lot of programs, both at the bachelor's level and at the master's level, which the students can uh, look to pursue. So uh, as you said, uh, there are lots of courses that a student, student can enroll uh, for. 
can you please explain us uh, academic entry requirement as well as the english requirement for us sure if you are looking at the bachelor's program at the business it and management uh, students we would require a gpa of uh, 2.8 from uh, year 12 nepal board and an ielts of overall 6 with each 6 pt of overall 50 with each 50 and if we talk about uh, the masters program in business it and management we are looking at a minimum 60% uh, in graduation and an ielts of overall 6.5 with 6 each and a pt of uh, overall 58 with 50 each yeah actually these days like uh, many universities are taking lots of time to issue the offer letter uh, issue the coe how how the university of canberra is tackling on those concerns so as far as uh, once an application is made a uh, student should uh, be able to get an offer within 72 working hours from university okay. of canberra and once the student has made the payment uh, again within uh, 72 hours uh, the co is issued once we have received the payment wow wonderful uh, information so uh, can you please uh, explain at the canberra uh, you know that the uh, some for some of the student australia in sydney and melbourne right uh i know uh, from india uh, people would like to prefer uh, to go melbourne from nepal they prefer to go sydney uh, so uh, our campus is in capital city that is canberra which is around 4 uh, hours far from uh, sydney by drive so uh, if you can explain us more about the canberra it will be more easier for my student to understand and its benefit as well <clears throat> sure So Canberra has this unique advantage that you know the population is less close to about 4.5 to 5 lakhs and for that small population there are more than 28800 private companies in Canberra the likes wow. of Pricewaterhouse Watercoopers Deloitte Ernst and Young KPMG Tech Mahindra Aon Capgemini Fujitsu everybody is there and then there are only two full time universities uh, in Canberra UC and ANU So yes. the competition to get a part-time job or an internship or a full-time job is uh, comparatively less in Canberra in comparison to other cities, right? And uh, you know, uh, because of the huge uh, gap between the demand and supply ratio, a lot of people would love to work in Canberra. And over the past few years, the Nepalese community has grown at least four times. Uh, you know, over the past. few years so a lot of uh, nepali students are looking to now study in canberra because obviously it's a regional city also and it's quite affordable yes uh, thank you for this information as you said that there are, there has got lots of uh, nepali community and it has been increasing at the increasing rate and uh, i know that uh, the university has got a very good a uh, nepali uh, students uh, uh, students who are studying over there and we have a community uh, there as well so how do you find the nepali community at the university it's it's uh, quite an interesting uh, you know community obviously you know students love to hang around the campus there a lot of uh, restaurants you know and a lot of things to do around campus so they are quite happy you know and which is why the community is growing over the past few years at the university and both in the city okay uh, so as you mentioned all about the courses entry requirement and the varieties of courses is there any uh, any particular scholarship or the students who have got a very good academic and english profile and if they want school if they want university of canberra and also would like to get uh, a decent scholarship so what are the uh, options available to them Sure. So, if the bachelor student have a GPA of about two point eight, uh, they are eligible for a ten percent scholarship for the entire duration of the program. If it's a GPA of three point four or more, then twenty percent scholarship for the entire duration of the program. But there are certain programs like Bachelor of Building and Construction Management, Bachelor of uh, Sports and Exercise Science, Bachelor of uh, Health Science, Human Movement, Nutrition Studies, Bachelor of Medical Science. uh if the student bachelor of business international business bachelor of engineering in network and software engineering honors so if the students are looking to apply for these programs and have a 2.8 gpa in year 12 they'll be eligible for a 25% scholarship for the entire duration of the program and similarly if the students have 65% in graduation and they're looking into pursue a masters program in, at university of canberra they'll be eligible for a 10% scholarship for the entire duration of the program if they have 80% in bachelors 
they are eligible for a 20% scholarship for the entire duration of the program. And if students are looking to apply for Master of Data Science, Master of Marketing Management, Master of Human Resource Management, and Master of International Business, they will get a 25% scholarship if they have 65% in graduation. Wow. So I, I got a question uh, like um, uh, one student wants to know more about BSW. Do we have a BSW Bachelor of Social Work program? Uh, we don't offer Bachelor of Social Work, but yeah, the PSW for bachelor students is up to three years in Canberra. Okay. Okay. And uh, I got one question. Uh, can, can, be, can you please suggest a course from the bio background student? Uh, at bio. the bachelor's level? Yeah, at the bachelor and master level. Okay. At the bachelor's level, we've got bachelor of science, biomedical science, or we've got bachelor of medical science, right? And then we've got bachelor of pharmacy, bachelor of nursing, bachelor of nutrition and dietetics, bachelor of vision science. All these programs are there. At the master's level, uh, we offer programs like Master of Physiotherapy, Master of Pharmacy, Master of uh, Public Health, Master of, um, you know, a lot of other programs also, uh, like Master of Occupational Therapy is there, then Master of Medical Imaging is there. So, uh, and all the master's program at, uh, except uh, Public Health, they lead to registration. And uh, also, I want, programs. yeah. Yeah, I wanted to know one more question. Uh, I got it. Um, uh, a Master of Cybersecurity and Networking. Do we have such course? Yes, we do offer the Master of Information Technology and Systems in which cybersecurity uh, is a specialization. Yeah, okay. Uh, so um, uh, these days, like we also encounter uh, with many students having uh, a certain years of education gap. So uh, what is the latest uh, graduate uh, years for UG and PG that you are accepting the student? We are not looking at a gap of more than 12 months. Okay, for UG and what about the PG? PG, uh, if they have finished their graduation say in 2015 and they are continuously working up till now uh, and the salaries are coming in bank accounts, then we can probably look at that. Okay, that's that's perfectly uh, wonderful information. So, uh, Prasad, uh, as you have come, uh, we uh, yeah, as you have accepted our request, and you have come uh, today for face-to-face -face career counseling as well as uh, uh, virtual career counseling, and we have been working with the University of Canberra uh, for a long time, uh, and it's going quite well. Just can you please share a few words uh, our relationship uh, between KIEC and University of Canberra to our audience? Sure. KIC has been one of our esteemed partners, uh, you know, and we've got very quality students uh, from uh, KIC uh, in this intake. And uh, the visa grant success rate is also very, very high uh, for the University of Canberra from KIC. And, uh, you know, we're really happy with uh, the quality of students, with the way KIC counsels the students. And uh, thank you for that, Mr. Rajendra. Yeah, thank you so much, Prasant, for your valuable time. It's a great honor uh, that uh, we have University of Canberra now, and we can give uh, the student choice for the Canberra. Thank you so much, Prasant. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Arjun. Have a nice day. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. You too.